Okay, so I'm having to do take two of this because I just now tried to pause it and the camera was like, now we're just going to shut your whole video down after six minutes of you rambling on, so you're going to have to do it again. So I know you sound a bit croaky, but in this video I will be doing a book review that I read in January kind of thing and that I really liked. It was a short read so I thought I'd do a book review of it as I enjoyed it and that book is the Gala Vampire Royals book 2 by Leah Walker so I'll jump in straight away by reading the back. So four weeks 20 contestants one prince. The pageant is almost over and Gwyneth West I just want to apologize if I get anything wrong um this all goes towards improving kind of like my English and speaking kind of thing as it's not something that I would have done a lot of so any support is very appreciated thank you West knows that she can win except the prince is a vampire and some of the other contestants are turning out to be quite beastly what do you do when the person you love might want to eat you alive struggling to hold on to her position in the palace Gwyneth knows her vampire prince could slip through her fingers in an instant and when human rebels threaten to storm the vampire royals once more, Gwyneth finds herself caught between two worlds, her people and the vampire she loves. So that's the blurb of the book. And the cover is super, super pretty. And the dress is super, super adorable. So I'm just going to read off from the highlights that I picked up from the book. So Dallas takes Gwyneth onto another date as the cameras want to follow them around for a lot more so that they can so that the audience feel like they're on the journey with them so Dallas takes Gwyneth onto a picnic date where he drinks red wine and there's food for her but because they don't want him to sit there and do nothing they give him red, red wine so it looks like he's doing something so that people don't twig that he is a vampire um, so he takes her out on the horse she gets her horse and he has his um, and she absolutely adores the horse that she's kind of been allowed to ride and one thing or another she feels she has a kind of tight connection with the horse in this book we learn a little bit more about Dallas and his family so we know that his family are vampires we know that in book one that his mum turned um one of the girls right at the beginning after she arrived because she was so mouthy into a vampire and one thing or another um but we learn in this book that Dallas has a brother who's up north who lives in his own castle kind of thing where there's a lot of werewolves around apparently and it's really not a nice place. So they have a really really nice date and one thing or another and it goes really well. But with uh, Gwyneth's sister Winnie she becomes sick with the flu and her fever doesn't break at all so when they think that it's serious she finds out by her mum writing a letter to the palace stating that Winnie's not very well that she's very poorly um, and one thing or another but before she found out Dallas had actually read her letter and had organised her um, for her sister to have a doctor and one thing or another as the doctor they had from their settlement for had no supplies so the one that Dallas sent would have had a lot of supplies to help Winnie break her fever, which eventually she does break her fever. And when she's strong enough, after Dallas and Gwyneth go down there to go and see her sister and Dallas meets her family, her little brother, her sister and her mum. Um, and he leaves the doctor with Winnie until she is 100% fully covered. Um, so, yeah, so Winnie... Um, Sorry, Gwyneth's little sister Winnie is super excited to see the prince as she is like a fan of his. So that was really, really nice to read. And the fact that, you know, she was super happy. On the journey back from the settlement for going back to the palace. Um, yep, on the way back to going to the palace, Gwyneth gets to ask Dallas a lot of questions about different thing and talk about how vampires take centuries to age as a human takes you know decades and that the if they're born a vampire it takes so long for them to age as compared to when they're turned that kind of thing 
So that was mentioned a little bit more about the vampire's background and their age and kind of thing. So that was nice to kind of not learn, but read a little bit more about that and the insight to that. Um, but there is another contestant called Tamara, if I've got that right, who toys with Gwyneth's emotions so, so much because, you know, they've kind of been on dates and she'll say that the prince, she kissed the prince, she did this when... Gwyneth and Alice seem to be in love but it's hard because he still has to go ahead with this competition and I feel like that Gwyneth is going to win this no matter what but I could be wrong because there's the ninth book coming out soon I believe there's eight at the moment so I could be wrong but I feel like at the moment them two their bond is really super strong and connected so I feel like that she's going to be the winner of the pageant either way um kind of thing um, but after Gwyneth and Dallas has a bit of an argument, she takes the horse that she previously rode on the date and storms off palace grounds and to go somewhere to clear her head back to where they had a date. But only she would be kidnapped by the rebels who hate the vampires, who hate the government and stuff, and she would be taken back to their camp. Um, and it was mentioned that they would come back for the horse, but the horse wasn't mentioned again after that, not that I recall. So after Gwyneth gets kidnapped, Dallas does try to save her, but obviously with him being a vampire and them knowing about it, they kind of chain him up where his attempt was failed and she finds her brother, who's been missing for five years or who she hasn't seen her contact with and doesn't know whether she's dead, he's dead or alive, but she finds out that he is alive but her father is very, very sick apparently and she hasn't seen him yet, but she's heard that he is alive. Um, within this, they get rescued by Eve, who was the one who was turned into a vampire by Dallas's mother right at the beginning of book one, who then basically destroys everybody in the camp apart from Gwyneth's brother because, you know, she wants him kept alive, but he is dead against her decision to basically be around these vampires and be a part of this contestant and one thing or another as they were all trying to the rebels were trying to rescue her from the pageant in the first place so after that and the fact that Eve cleaned up after herself after she basically killed all of these people apart from a very few they all managed to head back to the palace kind of thing and her brother will get locked up within the palace, but he's he won't be hurt, as she said, don't hurt him. And Dallas is like, okay, we won't hurt him. That's, that's fine, but we'll lock him up, that kind of thing. So as this goes on, for the final part of the book, we have the gala, which is the remaining contestants that have been announced. And Gwyneth, the girl, is mentioned as a final. So she makes it into the final four contestants. And Tamara is the other contestant who makes it in along with the other two who I can't remember so yeah so that was a nice read um so hopefully I'll be reading book soon book three soon and hopefully if that's as good as the first two then I'll do a review on that so that is my review for this I will have a paper copy up on Instagram just to give more details if you feel like you want to learn more about the book so thank you very much for watching and your support and take care